how to remove parents email on roblox hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll simply guide you through the steps on how you can remove your parents email on roblox so make sure to watch the video till the very end if you'd like to remove the parents email on roblox all you have to do is first of all just go to roblox.com then just click the gear icon from the top right and then just go to settings once you click the gear icon and then go to settings over here you'll find this option known as email address now in most cases why you have the add parent email option is because your roblox account is underage so if your roblox account is under 13 years of age you just count it that would maybe accidentally you will never be able to change it yourself and in that case you cannot add a normal email address but you have to add a parent's email address and when you've done it once you cannot revert it back so to do this what you have to do is just click the gear icon from the top right go to the help option once you go to help in the search page, we just want to type in something similar to change my age or something like that. So just go ahead and type in change age or the same thing. And then here you can see the pop-up article that says how do I change my age. You want to make sure to click that article here. Once you click on it, here you can see age 13. You can see enter the account info and then here you can see Roblox is committed to providing and so on. In this case, what we have to do is you can see contact support here option. Click on the contact support here option. Just fill out the form in this case and just select what device you're having the issue and select the issue details in this case. Just let them know that you would like to change the date of birth and that you are not under 13 years of age. And this way they will be able to get back to you and change your age, but you cannot do it yourself. So just keep that thing in mind. Hope this video helped you guys. If it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have got any questions, then feel free to leave them down. Thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video.